Wizard of West LA here. Today what we're going to do is network a MacBook Pro with an iPad Pro and this is the 2020 and we're going to do this one using Wi-Fi. I'll show you the very simple setup that needs to be done and then I will do another video on this as we set this up using Windows 10. We'll do both. The iPad Pro 2020 is actually very, very versatile, especially using the files mode, where you can copy files, you can view files, but you can also connect to a network. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and also, feel free to subscribe to the channel, and we will be doing more of these videos. But interesting stuff that you can do with both computers. So let's see how to do this. First step, what we have to do is let's make a folder for testing. Let's make a folder called desktop share or desktop share. Let's try that. So next what we need to do, we need to include that as part of our We need to include that as part of our rules for sharing. So what we do is we set that folder as one of these share folders. So you go to this control and go to sharing. And then the quick way you can do is you can drag the folder in here. And then you can click on desktop share and you can choose users. You can add a user, or subtract a user. We'll just use mine as I log in and we will turn on file sharing. Now here's the key. I name it, I had a long name on it. I changed it to something MB Pro. You can capitalize it or whatever you want to do. But here's the key. On the other computer, remember this right here. SMB, I wonder if it'll show if I outline it. You can probably see it better. Remember SMB and then you have colon forward slash forward slash and then you have MB Pro. That is what we'll do on the other one. So now, as I turn it on, let me go to the other computer. Now let's go to the iPad Pro. Okay, so now we're on the iPad Pro. Go to the files, and you'll see everything on files. Click on the top where it says connect to server, and now type in that same thing, SMB which is a Samba server, colon, forward slash, forward slash. You can put mbpro dot local. We'll try it with lowercase, it should work. Now I'm going to connect using my, my name and my password, which I use on the MacBook Pro. I hit next, and there we go, look at that. It connects almost instantly. And if we go to desktop share, there's our desktop. Now I can get on the desktop share, I can create a new folder called test folder one. We can do something like that. So now we have test folder one. Now on the MacBook Pro, if we go to desktop share, there it is, test folder one. I'm going to make one on the MacBook Pro and look it shows up on the other computer so I can put like I don't know pictures or whatever and hit enter and then on the MacBook Pro you can see the word pictures so that is how you do a network it's actually very very easy and the nice thing about this is you can also use it for backing up pictures or just about anything you want to do with a network uh, for sharing files so you can use the macbook pro as a server and you can copy things uh, don't forget on the ipad pro you can put two together i'll do it right now you can put one on the side just if you're curious and i can change locations on the other one and i can go to the ipad and i can copy drag folders from one to the other I can do a whole bunch of different things like that. So there's a lot of interesting things you can do. If we go to like a picture 
go to like Google, we grab on this, and test plus. There we go. It stores the uh, the image on there. So the image is now stored on here. If we click it, ah, it opens it. There we go. So you can drag a bunch of uh, pictures. Actually, it's kind of kind of useful if you do cars or something on here, and you do images. You could probably get some of these on here. You could probably grab this. Let's see what it does. If it drags on here. Yeah, look at that. You can drag uh, a bunch of uh, pictures and stuff. I don't know if it'll do it as, probably does it as PNG. Yeah. So that is how you network them. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to subscribe to the channel and also leave some comments if you discover any other things. I'm going to do another one where we have ethernet connections on both of them. I want to network them both together so we don't have to use the router. And I'll put up a video on that, but I thought we'd get started with this because most everybody has a router and you can use it as a, use it as a way to put things back and forth with files. But it's pretty it's pretty powerful the file sharing on the iPad Pro, especially that app. It works out really really nice. So I'm glad you enjoyed the video and just want to show you a quick thing on this on networking and remember keep on learning.